Hi, I'm Cleo. I'm a longtime tutor and a test prep expert here with study.com. So today we're going to be talking about the Praxis Exam 5752, which is the Core Academic Skills for Educators exam. This is a multi-subject exam with different parts to it. So we're going to focus on the mathematics section, test code 5733, specifically the subtopic of data interpretation and representation. We have four problems for you to practice together. So we're going to jump in now. Here we go. Okay, so for problem one here, it's asking us which value is the mode in this data list? 14, 12, 15, 16, 13, 18, 11. Okay, so what is a mode? Um, that is the number that occurs the most frequently in the data set. Um, I've always remembered it as mode most. They sort of sound similar, right? So is there a number that occurs most frequently out of this list of numbers? Well, 14, 12, 15, 16, 13, 18, 11. Actually, each number appears once, so there is no number that appears more than once, so there's no mode. That would be this one. Problem two. A wildlife biologist is interested in finding the average weight of ducks in a local creek. She obtains a random sample of 30 ducks. What is the population in this scenario? Okay, so this requires a little bit of knowledge of statistics and um, methodology for experiments. Um, so we're saying that we have a random sample of 30 ducks. Uh, a random sample should be used to represent the population at large that you are trying to represent. Um, so the sample is like um, a randomized group of the larger population that we're trying to expand outwards to. So if our random sample is 30 ducks from a local creek, she's trying to find the average weight of ducks ducks in a local creek, right? So if we're getting a random sample of those ducks, the population that we're trying to learn about is all ducks in the local creek. Not all ducks in general, not all ducks in the world, not all ducks in the United States, um, but all ducks in the creek from which we're sampling. So our best answer, we have all ducks in the United States, all ducks in the local creek, the 30 ducks selected, no, that's the sample, all ducks in the wildlife biologist state. No, this is our answer. All ducks in the local creek. Okay, problem three. Determine the mean of the following data set. 34, 35, 33, 36, 36, 38, 34, 35, 39, 34. Okay, the mean of a data set. The mean is the same as the average. So how do we find the average of a set of numbers? We have to add them all up and then divide by the number of numbers. So remember, you have a calculator on screen for these problems. So let's see, I'll just write it out, but you can calculate on your own. 34 plus 35 plus 33, 36, another 36, 38, 34, 35, 39, 34. Okay, so when we add those all up, um, we can do that on our own and we get 354, right? Um, but the average, the average equals the total divided by the number of items or number of numbers. <laughs> um, so in this case, that's going to be 354 divided by how many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 divided by 10. Okay, and if we use our shortcut, um, I mean, we can do that on a calculator, but if we use our shortcut, anything divided by 10 is like moving the decimal place over to the left one. So 354, that's 354.0. If we were to take that um, implied decimal point there and move it over to the left one, we get 35.4. So that would be our answer. So our correct answer here is... 35.4. Okay, so for problem four, it says, Mrs. Susan is a middle school teacher. She recorded the number of boys and girls in different grades. She created the scatter plot given below using the data. What is the number of girls of a grade with 30 boys? So how does the scatter plot work? Well, um, looking at the graph we have below, 
Um, a scatter plot is a way of representing a bunch of different data points and trying to get a, a shape of um, the overall picture. Um, so if we look at this, we have number of girls on the y-axis, number of boys on the x-axis, and the, um, the points that are marked um, should be corresponding to each of the different grades, right? With the, you know, grade with 10 boys, how many girls? Grade with 15 boys, how many girls, etc. So we are looking for the number of girls of a grade with 30 boys. So we want to find 30 on the boy axis, the x-axis, 30, and then go up, check the point, Okay, and see what that is on the y-axis. That is also 30, right? So we're looking at this point here, and if we can see it goes to 30 on the girls and 30 on the boys. So what is the number of girls in that grade? That would be 30 as well. All right, thank you for doing those problems with me. I hope they were helpful. Um, if you'd like to check out some more practice, you can explore our other videos here, or you can make your way over to study.com. And as a member there, you'll see that you have access to hundreds of sample problems like the ones that we just did together, as well as specific videos based on topics you might want to review with targeted instruction, um, and some strategy to help you best prepare to boost your score on test day. So in the meantime, uh, please like and subscribe and feel free to drop a comment below and let us know if there are topics you'd like us to review that we haven't yet covered. Uh, we'd like to hear from you, so stay in touch. And in the meantime, happy studying.